We've talked a little bit about sequencing. Um, we've mentioned Naliri. So, Thomas, tell us about Naliri and what's, what's the rationale behind it and what kind of data have we seen? Well, first of all, uh, I found it fantastic that for the first time a pharmaceutical company went Take, took the risk of doing a second line clinical trial in pancreatic <laughs> cancer, oh, which true. was unique before. And you would, you know, run against the wall when you would propose such trials. And I think this is very this is good. And it actually led to approval, yeah. which is also excellent because now we have an approved drug, which is efficacious, prolonged survival and is tolerable. We have, of course, some hematotoxia. We have some diarrhea, which is you know, arenotecan uh, related, but it's manageable and it's actually well tolerated by the majority of patients. We will not, in Germany, we have, an, we have another protocol. This is an academic trial, the OFF protocol, 5 of oxaliplatin in a modified version that seems to work very well as well, at least in our hands in Germany. So we have several options, but now we have also an approved phase three evidence for a drug combination that works in the second line setting. So I'm very happy about that, to be honest. And a very interesting drug, you know, where we talk about drug delivery to a pancreas tumor, you know, Tony, tell us a little bit about how, what, how was it designed and why do we think it's, it's good? Yeah, so it's, a, it's, an, it's, it's an intriguing, it, it belongs to this whole uh, world of uh, reformulating uh, formulating drugs when a liposomal formulation, it's a nanoliposomal formulation in this instance where, you know, the thought is you pack a big punch of irinotecan in a liposome and you let it circulate around the system. In fact, it does over about three days with very little leakage rate uh, into the circulation and most of the effective agent, SN38, ends up in the tumor. Uh, the, the goal is essentially to try to optimize efficacy without changing much the toxicity profile of antique, and which ends up being true here, the toxicities, uh, as, as Thomas mentioned, are, are very similar to what you would expect with irinotecan. Um, so it's, it's a very interesting uh, formulation. Uh, 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 I think its, its impact is, is clearly that, again, this is a second line study. Uh, the interesting piece is as well, when we think about sequencing and we're starting with gemcitabine, napaclitaxel, where neuro neuropathy is a concern, maybe 17% will get grade three neuropathy, mm -hmm. then a regimen like oxaliplatin um, would probably be contraindicated. Uh, and then uh, a regimen with non-crossing, crossover toxicities like naliri plus 5-FU would fit perfectly. So again, it, it, it fits this whole uh, purpose of moving from what I call an all kitchen, it kitchen sink approach with fulfirinox for most patients to a more sequential approach. And I think that really fits nicely in that sequential approach. Yeah, and, and, and Ramesh, tell us a little bit about that Napoli study that, that got the approval for us. So this was a phase three study um, in patients who failed gemcitabine. Um, and uh, looking at the paper, it also included third line patients. About a third of patients had failed two prior regimens. So it started off uh, as a three-arm study, um, the weekly high-dose 5-FU used in Germany um, with MM398 or Ornivide alone or the combination of 5-FU and MM398. Um, and uh, it later went on to two, uh, uh, the study was amended to increase the numbers to give adequate power. And the combination of 5-FU and MM398, what we call Naliri, was superior to 5-FU alone, about a two-month different statistically significant and that led to FDA approval. Um, so there's been some questions asked, can you use this after NAB, uh, paclitaxel, gemcitabine, because about 13% of patients in this study had uh, NAB, paclitaxel, gemcitabine, but about half the patients had gemcitabine combination therapy. So I think it's reasonable to use it yeah. after NAP, paclitaxel, gemcitabine. Yeah, and the non-overlapping toxicities mm -hmm. is very nice. Winston, do you use it in Canada? That's a really good question. Um, so we're still waiting for approval and access, actually. But um, as physicians, I think we all want you know access to all p potential options. So I think it's forthcoming. So we're really looking forward to having access uh, for our patients. And the, the toxicity profile, I mean, diarrhea, neutropenia. It's very similar to antique. The one thing you, you, you skip is alopecia. There's yeah. very little or no alopecia. Uh, and I think that's, that's one thing about Irene Otikan that you see, uh, and sometimes it's, it's, it's an issue. 
In this instance, you don't see alopecia. Uh, I think just a last point, uh, an important point. Um, you know, when thinking about second line, I know the, the data from Germany with OFF was positive, but the data from British Columbia was negative, and we just recently published a meta-analysis looking at the oxaliplatin versus irinotecan uh, experience. And in fact, you know, the irinotecan-based regimens do better in, uh, in this setting, in, this, in the second line setting, than oxaliplatin-based regimens. Uh, PFS seems to be improved about the same in, in both, uh, but OS uh, seems to favor irinotecan-based regimens in the second line versus oxaliplatin. So again, this fits the whole, the whole, the whole picture, I think, a little bit, little bit better. You know, we still have very limited options in this disease, but hopefully more coming. But having said uh, the toxicity, because we're using iron can for such a long time in colorectal cancer, I think there is no problem for the physicians to really handle side effects because these are not out of the ordinary, even less, as you say, alopecia. So I think this is a very well manageable protocol. Yeah. yeah. So so then you could you could argue maybe would your sequence be Gemnab, 5-FU Naliri, and if they progress but still could do another regimen, then would you move to a 5-FU oxaliplatin? Yes. After that? Yes. Yeah, I, I would yep. agree with that. Yeah, I would um, reintroduce uh, a platinum. Yeah. Uh, I, I think also the, the, then if you use GA uh, first line, then Naliri uh, avoids the neurotoxicity that the, the oxaliplatinum sometimes if the patient is has pre-existing neurotoxicity. Now that the, what is I think missing in the Napoli is a fulfiry arm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what makes the study a little bit incomplete. So sometimes we have patients who have no reimbursement for onivide. And then your dilemma is do you do in full fox with positive and a negative study or do you do full theory? And we are doing full theory more and more.